So we have some new Max Ace knives to check out. We're gonna start off with the Max Ace Mamba. Now, the Max Ace Mamba reminds me of the Goliath. Now, just so you know, it does come with an extra steel lock bar insert, which is pretty cool. So if you ever have problems with lockup or, or your lock bar moving over too far, um, you have you know, a uh, new steel lock bar insert. Now, what's cool about that is that means that this is a titanium liner lock, which I believe the Goliath was a steel liner lock. So this is more of a compact version with premium materials. The Blade Steel SLD Magic. So it looks like we have a San Mai with SLD Magic being the core. I'm guessing the outer, outer um, jacket is a stainless steel, possibly even a tough, well, SLD Magic is a tough steel already. It's weird how you actually see it, the layer right here is higher than on this side, just the way it's separated. Uh, but anyways, you cannot feel the transition at all between the steels. Now it has a titanium bolster, on top of titanium liners, I'm surprised they didn't just do a titanium bolster lock, but regardless, this is still just fine. And in some cases, this might even be better for some people, so you're not gonna lock yourself out by putting pressure on top of the lock bar. It does have black G10, I'm sure it comes in different versions. Titanium mill pocket clip and backspacer with a nice little hidden lanyard tube back there. Uh, so the action, very comfortable flipper tab. I like the way this flipper tab is not only placed, the shape of it, but also the jimping. Like I love this flipper tab just period because you see how it goes down and then cants again. So it gives you a leverage point to basically launch it out with or on with the push button. Now you also have a platform right here for the light switch. So it's almost like a universal flipper tab. Now, a lot of flipper tabs are, you know, like rounded ones are, you know, there's, there's a lot of different style flipper tabs, but this one does work very, very well. And the access to the lock bar is good, nice, comfortable disengagement, and it is fall shut or at least very drop shutty. And this is not even broken in yet. Let me drop a little oil on it. I added a little KPL heavy to the, the detent ball and then original to the bearings, which I do recommend that. That's my favorite, um, my, my favorite lubrication for pocket knives. I always have them linked down in the description. Now I noticed that it does have the SLD magic right here. And you can see that I do have a few knives in the SLD magic and I haven't, you know, I haven't had like a ton of experience with it to sit here and really tell you, you know, all the great qualities about it and how it sharpens up and all of that. But I will say I have used it in a fixed blade scenario where I went out and abused the knife and it held up very, very well. Um, there was no edge deformation. There was no um, edge damage. There was no rolling, no chipping. It held up very well. Now, I don't know how that will relate to edge retention, but you know, maybe we'll test it out and see. Maybe it, it is something magical. Um, I will say my negatives on this one is one, the clip is very stumpy um, in the pocket. Oh, it works just fine. Okay. So the clip does work pretty good, but I normally don't prefer a stumpy clip. Um, this one actually has plenty of, the, the way they milled off the tops right here, it makes it a little springier, I think. But anyways, it works good. So I guess I can't really complain about that. Sharp control and plunge grind is decent. You know, they did stop the plunge grind before the edge, leaving you plenty of life to sharpen off. I, in many cases, prefer more sharpening than that, but at least they gave you something, right? At least they gave you something. The jimping is, in my opinion, not, it doesn't really work. I mean, it almost works. Like it's very close to working if it was just a little bit sharper. Um, but yeah, really all in all, man, the ergonomics are great. I like the blade geometry. Drop point blade, you know, is a functional blade shape. Now I know this is new, but I do want to check the lock up. Make sure it's locked up, rock solid. This one passed, good job. Um, I'm not gonna smack it really hard, but you know, it should be able to, to withstand a light tap. Now, the next one does come with extra hardware, 
also with a steel lock bar insert that has a ceramic ball already um, attached, which is really cool. I love to see that. Now this knife already existed, but the original one was horrible. And this is the Peregrine. Now here is the new Peregrine. Now let's go over the problems that the original Peregrine had, and we'll see if they fixed them on this one. So one, the front flipper was just horrendous. There was no jimping, no traction on it, so you just slip off. Like it's almost, it's hard to deploy. Like it just, it sucks. And it's on washers, so it's very tight. So it doesn't have that bearing action. I don't even want to try to use it anymore because it's horrible. The thumb studs were pretty decent, um, but the clip, the clip sucked. There's no room underneath it. it it's tight. Well, no, I guess it's not too tight. Sorry. The clip wasn't tight. It, it's just, it's in front of this. Like it's right over the top of this cutout and it, there's no room underneath it. So when you put it in your pocket, like it pries it up. So that was the main real issues. One other issue I found is the stop pin placement. Um, I don't like stop pins back here. Now, granted it is in the thicker portion, but this is steel I want to be able to sharpen off. And granted, you know, I know that's a lot of life of sharpening before you get to there. But like, let's say I sharpen up to here and I just want to cut in a new choil or a new, you know, just to separate the plunge. It's, you can't do that with this one. So, um, granted, you have a lot of life on that. <clears throat> now the new one. The thumb studs are different. Not that it really matters because the thumb studs were not bad on the original, but the new one is definitely uh, good. And it's still on washers. However, the front flipper is definitely a hundred times better. The jimping actually works and it's much easier to front flip. Now I will be honest, because it's on washers, it's not the best front flipping action. I would, I would say that you probably should stay away from washers and front flippers, you know, combination. I would say just, if you're gonna do a front flipper, do it on bearings. Now, something I don't understand is why they stopped the jimping. This, would, this could possibly make this thing like way better. They stopped the jimping before the top. They put jimping over here, which I don't know why you can't do anything right there. That doesn't make sense, but they stopped it over here. Why not bring it up and all the way around so that when your finger's up here at the top, you don't slip off, you know, it just, it would, it would have made it a lot better to do that. Um, now it still works. So I'm not saying it doesn't work. You know, it's not like the other one where it just didn't work. This one works, but you know, there's just little details that could have made it better. Um, access to the lock bar is amazing. Very, very comfortable disengagement. It does have a nice oily, glassy smoothness, which if you like washer action, then you'll probably appreciate this one because it is, it feels very much like a Sabenza. Like it feels, or you know, yeah, just like a Sabenza. That's what it feels like. Now, the the clip is raised up and they made it a little bit longer. So now it's over the top. Now it still is right over the top of the lock bar cutout, but it is much, much, much better. The clip is actually great. It, it goes smoothly in and out of the pocket. Nice ramp. And yeah, very happy with that. Stop pin still in the same spot. Um, not that big of a deal. Like I said, there's, you have quite a bit of life to sharpen off, but I, I prefer to not be there. Now this is in ZDP 189 steel with a San Mai. So it's a San Mai ZDP 189 heat treated between I think 65 and 67 HRC, which for ZDP 189, when you get it above 65 HRC, it becomes a super steel. It's, it's like a beast. This is the same steel that uh, Rockstead uses on their Japanese knives uh, that has incredible, incredible edge retention. The ergonomics, very neutral ergos. So this is a knife you can comfortably grip in any grip you please. It is very well balanced. Um, like I said, the lock bar access is very comfortable. Nice thick lock bar, nice engagement. Oh, 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 uh oh. Yeah, it's failing, but it's also brand new, fresh out of the box. So I gotta be a little bit nice about that. Let me, looks like there's a detent ramp. Yeah, there's a little bit of a detent ramp. Um, not that that matters with the lockup, but um, I think, let me dry it off. I'm going to give it another little tap because I, I do feel, I don't think that, that that's, 
okay uh, for me to, to judge this thing on an action that was only opened a few times. I'm just gonna... Yeah, it's still slipping. Um, granted, you're not gonna use the knife like that, but you know, and I don't think it's, that, I, that was a good enough tap, like, I can't just get, ah, it did happen. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, so I, I guess even from a light tap, it, it's going if you do it multiple times. Um, if I do it, okay, it won't do it from that, but it does do it from that. I'm not hitting it hard, guys. So, yeah, I just, it's not for me. The knife's not for me, and it's not even because of the lockup, to be honest. Like, this is something that I totally, I bet you if I started using and cutting with it, it the lockup would probably, like, I even feel the lockup actually starting to get a little bit stronger. Let me, let me look at something. I can push it over. No still slipping yeah i mean but even regardless for that like i don't really care about that as much on this model you know it's more of just an edc cutter edc user i don't think it's gonna fail from me applying pressure on the spine at least i hope not and theoretically me squeezing it should apply pressure onto the lock bar preventing it from failing but my problems are the front flipper, while it's a lot better on this one, like a lot, lot better, um, it's just not, it's not optimal. It, 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 this should be on bearings if you're going to have a front flipper. Um, otherwise, make it taller and just make it a roll, or yeah, just make it taller. If you're going to have it on washers, make it taller so you have a lot more leverage on it. Um, but so that's my biggest complaint is just that I prefer bearings now the geometry is a little bit on the robust side but it's also plenty good I, I nobody's gonna say this is like you know uh like too thick to use or anything like that it's still plenty slicey but but it is a little bit on the robust side so which is gonna add some toughness especially to a steel that's heat treated to such a high HRC um the inlays are done very well it does have a tritium inlay right there so you can put a tritium there t8 hardware all the way around except for the steel lock bar insert um the inlays yeah the inlays are done very well you know all in all man i like the way it looks there's a lot to like here but personally for me there's just a couple negatives that that personally kind of take it off the um you know it it, it just Now this is a knife, man. It looks really good. I love the look of it and I want to love it. I really do. But there's just little details. Now, I do suspect that this thing is going to break in very smoothly and it's going to possibly become like a lot better than what it is now. Not that it's bad right now, but it could get better. It could be better. Um, I should say it could be better and it's probably going to get better, you know, as it, these washers break in because, man, it does, it is very smooth and you can see, man, it, it, it's breaking in pretty quickly and you don't have to use the front flipper if you don't want to, you know, if you don't like the front flipper, you don't have to use it. You could just use the thumb stud, uh, but you know, all in all, you know, it's not for me personally uh, because of the few things I mentioned, you know, but, you know, it's still a solid knife and I could see, you know, somebody, you know, taking the time and breaking it in and it becoming a very luxuriously smooth knife that, you know, because, and I always say this, some of the best knives in my collection are knives that had to break in. They're knives that over time just got better and better and better and better and better and got to the point to where now I just absolutely love them. But anyways, oh, another difference I just noticed, the stop pin screw is not there. Um, not that, uh, that probably makes a difference because the stop pin's still in the same place. But anyways, um, there you guys go. Work hard, stay tough. Until next time, peace.